Have you ever given any thought to the way you process information? The truth is, you do it all the time. Not just online, but at home, at work, and in the conversations you have every day. You read a negative review for the latest Steven Spielberg movie. You hear from a friend that it's actually pretty good. You put both of those sources together and use them to form an opinion based on what you already know. You know you like Steven Spielberg, but maybe you're not really interested in the movie. You decide to wait till it comes out on DVD. Believe it or not, there's a word for that. It's called synthesis. But for our purposes, it may be easier to think of it as putting things together in your head. Synthesis is something that happens naturally in everyday life. You hear or read about something new, in this case differing opinions about the latest Spielberg movie, then you file that information away in your own personal database. Also in that database are little bits of memory and other things that you've learned or experienced all throughout your life. These things combine to form an understanding of the subject. This is also how you form an opinion on the subject. The same thing happens when you consume information online, for example when you read an article or watch a video. But what if you had to form more than an opinion? What if you had to produce something tangible, like a blog post, a presentation, or a research paper for school? The process is remarkably similar. First, it wouldn't be right to just throw your research together, save it in a Word document, and call it a day. Your work should be like your opinions. Your work should be unique. Instead, think about your sources and start putting them together in your head. In this example, articles that talk about green living. Look for connections between the materials that might help you understand the subject a little better. Look for connections in your personal database. For example, any experience you have with recycling or saving energy at home. This will help you draw your own conclusions so you can eventually put your thoughts into your own words. That's synthesis. But really, it's as simple as putting all the information together and combining it in order to create something new. Remember that, and your next writing project is sure to be a success.